Hello and welcome to another White Rhyme Ridge run and gun. Today we've got the 300 as well as the 4570 and we're going to be running the same part that we usually do up here in the north. We'll see if we get a Sitka deer uh, just up here and then we're going to fast travel to the tent that we normally do which I'll show you when we get to that. Uh, but I needed a video that I could do fairly quickly because I'm going camping here uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so I got to get this video done and uploaded um, so it can be scheduled because... I think I'll be back by the time this video is up, uh, but obviously I won't have time to get everything done. Uh, between then, I'm going to be back. I should have gotten back this morning, assuming that I did upload this Saturday night like I planned. Not seeing any Sitka deer. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel to this tent. And right away, we've got a bison. So yeah. Going camping for a few days, and I had a couple of videos to get ready. I have to finish the other one that already went up, as far as you guys are concerned, I think. Uh, as long as everything worked to plan. Uh, and then this one, so I didn't have time to sit down for a couple of hours uh, and record. Because as soon as I'm done with this, I have to finish the other video. And then i got to get everything ready uh, for camping. So that is why I'm doing this. This is kind of my go-to when I need a quick video. But I enjoy doing this. As I always say, it's a good break from the normal bow hunting that I do. That wasn't the bison that called. That was a female. It is down, though. Okay, here is our female. Not seeing the male. I don't know if... I did pick up another track, but I didn't pay attention to what it was uh, when I picked it up. Double lung shot on her. 51 score. I did enter the Lucky Loot Comp, which is the highest score of your top three bison, or highest average, something like that. Okay, we would have spooked the male off in this direction. Uh, and then I entered a Moose Comp as well, which is just to harvest the highest scoring moose. So maybe we'll get lucky and place in one of those comps. Uh, but that's just for something to be lucky, and basically it's... Not hunting for it, but if we get lucky, we'll take it. Speaking of moose, not a big one, but we'll take him out. Our bison was decent weight, uh, but not max, so he's probably not huge. If I happen to see him, I'll take him, but otherwise, we're just going to keep running. 99 score on this moose. And moving on. Alright, we got another kind of smallish moose coming in. Only up to 125 score estimate. Take him out with the 4570. Down he goes. If you guys notice a lot of edits uh, in this video, it's simply because I'm trying to keep it short, uh, but keep as much of the actual... Uh, shots and animals in the video as possible because uh, I need the video to upload fairly fast to get two uploaded uh, and scheduled in the amount of time that I have because uh, I planned on having Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to record. I totally forgot Monday was Memorial Day when I thought of this uh, so I was down one day and it really messed with my plans so had to change that up and that's why I'm kind of in a rush at the moment but I think we're all right. Alright, we got a male bison right here. Looks solid, but not huge. 80 to 130 score estimate. That was probably an intestine shot. I hope he'll give us another shot. Took him right through the spine. Not exactly what I wanted, but we'll take it. I saw another male moose out there. Along with a couple of females, but... The male wasn't all that big, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but maybe we'll see him again. He is directly in our uh, path. Yeah, that was indeed an intestine shot, so the follow-up was good. Actually, that was just body on the second shot. I thought we got him in the spine as high as we shot. 109 score. Not bad. Alright, so we've just got a cow moose out here. I think the male that I mentioned should have ran uh, and would still be out of render of here. 
I see another female to the left, but this one's closer. Never mind. This one's more in the open now. I can't imagine that not being a good hit. I don't know where she just went. I saw her for a second and then she disappeared. I don't know if she went down or what. We'll see. Alright, here's her moose. Never did find blood from her, but she didn't go very far. I don't know if I couldn't remember where she was. We double lunged her. I'm actually surprised she ran at all, but... Just a five second wound time. Alright, we got a male moose out here. I believe this is the one that I spotted earlier. I think we'll just take him from here, through the brush. Should have been a solid hit. Gonna watch a little more closely on this one. Since I lost the other one. He is still running. And now he's down. Alright, here's our moose. Liver stomach shot, actually, but we'll take it. 133 score. Well, there's female moose everywhere, so I guess I'll just shoot another one. I was going to just let them all kind of clear out, but a shot will help them do that. Which way is that one facing? Okay, it's facing towards us. Or was it? That looked like I shot it kind of in the side. I thought I shot it in the chest, but I think I hit it in the shoulder. Yeah, it was... Okay. That wasn't facing nearly the direction I thought it was. Interesting. But hopefully all those females got out of our path. I'm hoping to find some either males or at least some bison. Neck bone three and left lung on that shot. Well, I guess not all the female moose got out of our path. There's yet another one. Oops, spine shot her. All right, she's down now. Saw a snowshoe hare running around up there. Not a cottontail rabbit for those of you that remember uh, that when I didn't know what kind of species I was hunting. That indeed was a snowshoe hare. And yet another female moose. Would you please go away? Don't want to hunt the female moose, but if they're gonna stand in front of me, I'll take the uh, one hunter score from the weapon. Uh, kill. I have a thousand of them, so I don't get any there. Oh, there's a bison. I never heard it. My goodness. That was scary. I didn't hear it make a sound. That scared me so bad. I thought I heard, like, the footsteps, but I didn't realize it would be charging me right away. That looks like quite a nice bison, actually. I think he was up to 130 score estimate. 113. Not bad at all. Brain shot, actually. That was that was about as good an angle as I've ever taken to hit the brain. All right, that looks pretty good. I do have, I think, a 115 bison taxidermized, so no need to taxidermize him. All right, we got some bison ahead of us again. That one looks solid. Actually, these two look solid. I think they're both females. They're in a group with females, yeah. They both are. Okay. Ooh, what a shot. Drop that one in its tracks. And that one's down. Nice. I wonder where we hit this one. To actually drop it. The first shot uh, was a lung shot also, so didn't need to follow up, but I wasn't too sure. Because I kind of rushed it and shot uh, quartering two, which can be bad. So I think both of these will score over 100, which is pretty solid for a female. Liver double lung, that explains the drop shot. 106 score. And this one looks just about as good. 102 score. Alright, this doll sheep finally made the mistake of stopping in the open. He looks pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. So this kind of changed from a run and gun to a slowly track and gun, but same thing, right? 
He's not going far with that shot. Yep, he's down already. Alright, good. That was the first doll sheep I saw. Spooked a couple of females off uh, to the right there as I was tracking him, but... He was spooking a couple of times. I was uh, crouching the whole way to track him uh, through all those trees, which was not fun, because he... That's the main reason I think he was spooking. It wasn't so much that uh, he's just incredibly large and easy to be spooked. I think I was just getting way closer than I thought and not seeing him, but he does look quite nice. I don't know how big he is because I can't really judge doll sheep, especially from the side. It's easier to see how big the curl is and how much mass they have from the front, uh, but we'll see what we got here because he definitely does have a good curl. Yeah, that's not bad at all. 183. Very nice. Alright, so I think this looks pretty good. Trying to show off the curl of the horns and the mass as best as possible. And I think this is about as good as I can do. Uh, I kind of wish I would have spawned later in the day now because the lighting would be better for the picture. But I think it turned out alright. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one.